All right. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. <clears throat> we went down, took the rare plants down to 13 degrees last night. <clears throat> this morning in the greenhouse, we're kind of just doing some recovery. I would love to run the water, but we can't. Um, I'm just going to show you guys what's going on and narrate it as I do. Okay. <clears throat> so reason we came on the water and missed in here like I would like to is because it's 34 degrees and it was only 13 last night so the spigot's frozen uh, and we can't successfully run water in here so our alternative is got a five gallon bucket filled with hot water <clears throat> there is steam coming off of it but it's cooling down fast out here because it is so cold uh, but this should heat up the area pretty good. And then some of the stuff is dry. Uh, I noticed the grimoire on the back is a little dry. When the top of the soil gets dry like that on a Jabba de Kawa, you want to water it. <laughs> uh, and these plants are really just on the brink of uh, complete dormancy. I wouldn't say death, but they're on the they're on the brink of being dormant. So. We want to try and uh, keep them watered and keep the temperature up in here. But yeah, so 13 degrees um, is what it was last night. We got the Spanish moss still looking good. <clears throat> when I came in here, these leaves were all folded in um, this morning early. But they have, it seems like they have recovered, so... That's incredible. Um, looks like the leaves are so resilient that, and they do this with the heat too, but I didn't know they do this with the extreme cold. So they will droop down like this pretty much. They kind of look like that. Usually in a plant, when that happens with the cold, it'll be the water expanding within the cell walls of the leaf, and it will actually bust the leaf and just like rupture, rupture it and completely destroy the leaf. And that's what happens in a lot of uh, tropical plants that'll go down too cold. But with this plant, I believe what's happening is the leaves are so strong that it can actually take the water expanding inside of it and change, for, change shape. And then once the water... Uh, unfreezes it just goes right back <laughs> so it's just so resilient that it's got no problem doing that and that's pretty incredible so just wanted to showcase that um <clears throat> five gallon bucket of water might stay in here for a little bit i've never thought that it does much of a job of actually heating um but i've got full sun so everything's going to heat up anyways uh, we're above freezing, so that's good. <clears throat> but what I will say is, you could tell if you could tell if you were below 32 by having water just open like this, because if the water froze, that means you're, it's getting too cold in the greenhouse. So it might be good to have around. Um, Yeah, everything else, uh, yeah, the white job of the cub is not looking too hot. A lot of this stuff not looking too hot. But honestly, from the 13 degree uh, night, I don't see much of a change. Things looking all right. So, we only heated for four hours, and then the rest of the night was just residual heat. Um, it's nice that we have sun getting in, going in here, so... Everything seems to be rebounding nicely. Uh, I just want to do a quick video about going down to 13 degrees. And that is the coldest um, <clears throat> that we've ever went down with the rare plants being outside. Um, so we broke a little personal record. I don't know if it's a, you know, an all-time record. I'd like to claim that it... Whoa, I almost dropped my phone there, sorry. I'd like to claim that it is an all-time record. Um, there's not enough information kept on the 
rare plants, honestly, on the Eugenias and the uh, Jabba de Cabas. It's, it's kind of hard to find um, <clears throat> a good book. I still haven't been able to. Um, that references, you know, you can find like small things, but I'm, I'm looking for like an in-depth book, um, on the subject so I can really know, <clears throat> you know, other science experiments that have taken place with them. So <clears throat> I suppose that might be up to me. I might have to write the book and I would illustrate it too. Look, we got nice peeling here. I suppose that's what I'm getting ready to do, <clears throat> is make a little book about Jabba de Kaba, try and get it uh, published. I think that'd be cool, because um, if you look up book about Jabba de Kaba, you cannot find, I'm telling you, try and, try and find a book about Jabba de Kaba, <clears throat> or a book about Eugenia and the different types of Eugenia. Maybe Eugenia, but I know for a fact Jabba de Kaba you'd be hard pressed to find a book there's one book but it's like scarce and rare so yeah <clears throat> that is originally what uh lit my fire with uh job de cabos and the eugenias and stuff is that there's not a lot of information on them so maybe that's a maybe that's a good plan to get into because uh maybe i can be the first to discover some of the information so that's why i wanted to document the 13 degree night everything was frozen solid i actually left a fish tank outside with water on accident and it busted luckily it was just a small one but still sucks um so yeah typically my climate actually doesn't get down that cold <laughs> it didn't snow or anything um it does snow sometimes but i don't know if we're gonna get snow this year i know all next week it's gonna be rain but it's gonna be a little bit warmer so that's actually that's gonna be fine for me um it'll suck that the sun won't be out as much but uh the rain is good but if it gets down cold enough that rain might turn into snow and then That'd be interesting to see. I'd kind of root. I kind of do want to uh, see the greenhouse in snow, just because I think it would be cool. Um, it it might if it's stuck to the top. It might provide actually more insulation, which would be, <clears throat> you know, could actually be uh, beneficial in the end. So you never know. My. This is just, all these leaves are dead on the whole Grimmel, but I think I'll just leave them because I can't really easily access it, <clears throat> and it's it'll just be more insulation for the plant. If it drops them, it drops them, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it held on to them. Hopefully in the, you know, hopefully this is good for it, this kind of cold weather. And it gets it, uh, wait a second. Look at how white that is. Peculiar. Hold on. I wish I could more easily get to this shit. Hold on, let me move some stuff. Okay. Hold on. Look how white is this? Is this frozen? Just that way. So yeah, I was pointing out that you know from the peeling and the color of this thing, hopefully this like shoots it off and it's ready to fruit soon. You know, sometimes the cold weather can be good for them. Sometimes it can be devastating though. So we really won't know until the uh, winter time, or I mean summertime. These do need water, but they're not that dry. Well, the prop, the pots are frozen. Oh God, yeah, the pots are frozen. It's, it's not. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good at all. You don't want your pots to be frozen. <laughs> the pots are frozen. So the root balls, the root masses are frozen. 
we might be in some uh, deeper trouble than we thought. Plants up here aren't frozen. It must be a lot warmer up here than it is down there. Because those pots are frozen. Jeez. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Yeah, I really need to get water. You know what? I'm going to just dump this thing of hot water into these plants here. You guys can just stay. I'll just uh, set you right here while I do it. I'm going to dump some of this water. Wait, I'll set you right there. Yeah. This is uh, warm water, and it's just, I need to thaw these things out. Oh my god, you see the snow? never done anything like that check that out I don't know if that was going to be beneficial I don't know if you could see the steam or not I know these things need to be thawed out that water was really only just warm but look at all the steam coming off I hope it didn't shock the root system Whew. I mean I just need to thaw these things out Wow, it's frozen solid. Hmm. Well, we'll see, right? We we shall see. <laughs> Little experiment there. Uh, dumping warm water on your frozen plants. Ooh wee. I mean, they should thaw out throughout the day because it's warm, but it's not warm. I mean, because it's sunny. Well, it's not warm. It's like 30 some. So, goodness gracious. The tribulations and experiments of growing these rare plants in the winter are quite exciting. You know? That's it. I gave off an interesting smell when I dumped all that down. I think uh, hopefully it was good. Hopefully we get these things thawed out. I'd really, what it needs, what they need is just the hose just going through them through the whole dirt until you know um i can't get the hose on though maybe i'll try again all right peace out everyone last thing gators gator boys check it stay hydrated stay hydrated for sure got this sticker at a place with like uh they had a bunch of live or not live gators they had a bunch of uh dead gators it smelled terrible and they were like um <clears throat> preserved for sale they even had whole ones they had heads so I, bu I bought a gator jerky and the sticker gator jerky was actually uh not good not terrible though but all right everyone thanks for watching have a good one hopefully this recorded right i'm really getting mad that some of my videos recorded wrong